Hey, this is Mike at OnPoint. Welcome to our video on our tutorial on uh, pulling your spectrum data into Microsoft Excel. So as I'm pulling up Excel, I'll mention a couple of uh, prerequisites to this. Uh, one, you'll have to have access to your data, and one of the ways to do that is through InfoLink, and be sure you check out that video. And uh, then you have to have set up your DSN, your data source. Uh, which is, is Spectrum in this case, and, and check that video out as well, that tutorial. So to pull your Spectrum data in then, I'm in a brand new worksheet as you, as you see. I'll simply go up to Data, Get Data, and then I'll hover over from Other Sources, and I'll click on from Microsoft Query. Now, from here, I'll tell it I want the DSN that I set up, and I set up this DSN data source name in a previous uh, tutorial uh, called it on point. And I'll, I'll I'll go ahead and leave the the wizard checked for now, and then I hit OK. I give it my password that I set up in uh, InfoLink, and I hit OK. And it's reaching out through web services, grabbing that, well, through ODBC, grabbing that data. And then the first time you are in this query wizard, you're going to want to hit options. And under owner, change that to DBO. And then hit OK. And you'll see you've got a much more intuitive list here to choose from. Now, in InfoLink, I gave this login ID permissions to see one table and one view. And for now, I'm just going to go over and I'm going to grab off the master job master. I'm going to grab the company code and I'm going to grab the uh, job number, the job description, and I'm going to get fancy and I'm going to say I'd like to see where are you? Job, master division city. I think I passed it up. I want to see the PM. Soup estimator. Oh, I'm in alphabetical order. Where are you? I'll just click in here and project manager. There we go. So I've got the company code, the job, the description, and the PM. And I'll hit next. I'll ask some questions about if I want to filter things. I, I don't want to filter anything yet. And I want to sort by company code and then by job number. And now I'm going to say return my data to Excel. And you'll see my cursor is in A1. And it's confirming that's where I want to start my data. I hit OK. And I've returned my data. You'll notice I've got a, a variety of company codes here. So to narrow down, I'm going to say I'd only like to see CCD, the uh, test company. And I'm only seeing the jobs in CCD. And, th and there you have it. We've pulled our data into Excel. If at any time, you want to say, well, you've saved this, you want to jump back in and refresh it. Just put your cursor in any of the data fields and go over to data and hit refresh. Where are you, refresh? Refresh all. It'll reach back through, grab the current data set, and pull it back in. And there you have it. I hope this was, uh, was good. I hope you, you got what you needed out of it. Please check back with us from time to time. We're, we're constantly updating a list of tutorials to try to help you out and get more from your system. Bye-bye.